Hello friends, welcome to the video number 35 for the Visual Basic for Excel, uh, Visual Basic for Applications in Excel. Uh, and in this video where I hope it's going to be a pretty short video, um, we saw this on the ending part of video 34, but I mean this is something very, very useful. So I just wanted to make a very, uh, or like a dedicated video just for this particular uh, statement that we're going to cover here if you don't or if you want to know exactly what these uh, three subroutines are doing please uh, watch video 34 so that you can know but basically what we are doing here is we are opening another a second workbook and we are going to be copying information from that workbook to this uh, one that we have opened here so what uh, we are going to be seeing when we do these kind of things, we can be, I mean, going to one, activating one workbook and then coming back to this one, or we can have several worksheets and then going to another worksheet and to another one, then coming back. So we're going to see an effect like this. So you see how it, um, uh, the screen uh, kind of like flickers. And well, this time we just made the change about six times. As you can see here, we uh, copy and pasted six uh, rows of, inf of information. But when you are doing this hundreds, probably even thousands of times, uh, it's very, very uh, annoying. And well, we're gonna see how to avoid this, how to eliminate this flicker. And as a secondary effect, we're going to see that the, the execution of the code is much faster. So, again, well, that's the regular way of doing it. But now, what you are going to want to do every time is at the beginning of the execution of your code, just put this application dot screen updating and then make it equals to false and at the end well here we have two possible uh, ways of ending so if we don't find the uh, the file that we are looking for we are gonna exit through here so let's just uh, application screen updating make it back to true and we're here just before we and the subroutine application dot screen updating equals true Whoop. and well let's run it again that's it so well Obviously, the flicker is not there anymore, and I hope you noticed that the macro runs uh, faster. Again, there is the result. So you just see the ending result, but you don't have to um, be watching every time that the, the macro goes or activates a different worksheet or a different workbook and then come back to this one and it's doing its thing. Uh, again, it's it's it can be pretty pretty annoying. So, just by doing or adding this simple line, you can um, turn the screen updating off. But then just remember to turn it on again. And well, I hope that you notice also that well, it's it's faster, right? Again, one more time. There you go. So it's it's much faster and much easier on on our eyes, right? So well, that's the screen updating. Uh, I hope you find it useful. You like this uh, very simple statement. Um, well, as always, thanks all of you for watching, for your time, for watching these videos, and please don't forget to subscribe and share and like the video. And well, I hope to see you on video thirty six, where we're going to see how to display information on the status bar, all right? So thanks all of you for watching, guys. I hope to see you on video 36.